All right, good evening, good evening, good evening. Let's see if we can pick up anything either on the storylines we've already had today or anything new going on. What do we need to hear? What is the collective interested in this evening? Who's got the most predominant storyline? We got this Scorpio energy again, right? We got one new cycle's beginning. We got Uranus. We got romance here. Something divinely guided with these stars here. We get rings of communication and the way people are connected and the way rings of communication go. The rings of communication can kind of have that um, that grapevine energy. You know what I'm saying? How rumors spread, things like that, and how everybody's connected. life energy coming through is food and hunger. Someone in this connection can struggle with food. Got father energy, an artist. Someone who can be musically talented. It's food and hunger mixed with the parental card like that. I get like uh, the struggle to provide, right? That's kind of a shadow that lingers, a struggle to provide. That is too much. She's going to stick with it though, huh? All right, we got biblical. We got galactic. We got the twin flame card. We got Atlantis. We got Egypt, right? Now, when it comes to Egypt, it's all about the influence, right? And how far the influence goes. Also, with this Twin Flame card, Atlantis. I'm just going to have to bring up um, Iris and Osiris. Iris and Osiris. Oh, my God. Isis and Osiris. Oh, and then there's Biblical card here. And I get kind of a clashing of the religions there, right? Definitely star seeds involved here with the galactic card. This could be from your, you guys have been connected since your first timeline here, since biblical Egyptian times. Obsession and parasite. Someone definitely feels like they obsess. They feel like some, someone's dealing with an energy that's like a parasite. Like how it actually kind of fell out this way too. He's looking this way, so I get like the masculine is picking up this obsession, right, with it in their hand, staring at this disc. Well, the feminine's staring back at this side like a parasite. Well, and has the parasite card, dealing with parasites. Dealing with parasites, feeling like a parasite. That card also touches their face with that. They're looking, also both looking away from each other here. I get that there's like their backs turned towards each other. We got this meadow of vulnerability here. No, I get this like with this meadow of vulnerability between them. It's like one person can't look away, but yet the other person's walking away because they feel like they'll just be more of a burden that this other person can't handle. Does that make sense? Be like, what? Be like, dude, apparently you got so much going on that I'm just going to go ahead. I don't want to be just some other burden, right? And then it's like, it's after this happens, this person gets stuck staring at this disc, right? 
they don't understand what it is, and it's because this connection has been going on for so long. Sure enough, we got the nine of staffs right there in the middle. There's not a lot of this being seen. Whatever this storyline is, it's not advertised really on the 3D. Right? Nobody's posting about it on social media. Nobody's talking about it, right? Funny for the rings of communication. That's why I said grapevine. Whatever whatever is being said about whatever is going on here is something that is in closed circles. It's small closed circles that are spreading this information privately. Right? You definitely got this defensive energy going on here, right? There's some sort of truth that's being revealed here. That's what I mean. There's some sort of truth that's being revealed slowly here. There's been a rite of passage that's gone down, right? Got this eight of cups. I get like overcoming the past or the past is overcoming itself, right? And you got 77, seven on each end here, right? With the seven of pentacles. It's like... It's that reaping what you sow, and what I mean by reaping what you sow is that's good, bad, or otherwise, right? You're at this point, this precipice, like it's right at this where it starts to get really hard, but right at the other side of it's the Eight of Pentacles where you've perfected the skills, and then Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. So it's like this whole timeline has led up to this, but it's, it's slow and it's very quiet. Very quiet. Got the Six of Swords again. It's quiet for a reason. This is a rite of passage, right? Someone's being really pulled by fate at this point, right? They're working on these skills. They've made a decision about love. The 5D says that there's definitely a victory here possible for these Two of Cup connection, but there's still this defensive energy between y'all, right? And it's coming because the defensive energy essentially has caused what we got this King of Pentacles, right? Who acted like an immature page of stabs, right? I don't know why I'm getting that dickhead energy, right? It's like, yo, yeah. I'm the dickhead fairy who sprinkled bitch dust on this whole situation and created these problems. <laughs> Four of coins. There's some sort of foundation that's already here. Or someone holding tight to their foundation. We've got the Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, King of Cups, and the Fool. Yeah, I get like the defensive energy was this King of Coins. I mean, usually on the other side of the wall, he acted like a total dickhead. Um, I have to apologize. I put not for kids on my stuff, right? They acted like the drama queen. They acted like the three of swords, right? They were portraying themselves as the king of cups, but they were really acting like a fool. And I get the fool in this one, right? Like, they're like stumbling around. Like, this isn't someone facing the leap. This isn't somebody walking forward. 
This is someone, like, walking backwards, being edged off the cliff. Like, they're, you know... They want to focus on this now, right? They want to focus on the Two of Cups connection. They feel trapped. They feel trapped. There's a truth that they have to come out with. That's the rite of passage that'll bring balance. That's when they'll go from being a, um, um, <laughs> a dickhead. <laughs> Sorry. Such an immature insult, isn't it? But that's when they only go from being an immature. Just a king is a dickhead. I'm sorry. That's terrible. But essentially, that's the energy that I'm picking up, right? Definitely get a sense of humor going on here. There's some seeds of intention that have been planted on the 3D. Something that's like, it, there's some sort of tangible thing there, but there's still illusions all around this. That's what this person 77, right? Illusions and being defensive, right? There's a queen of swords watching this whole situation. And she has something to do with this wheel of fortune, right? The wheel of fortune for me is always like this kind of being oppressed by the world and it getting ready to turn in your favor. She's not looking at the wheel. She's worried. She's like, there's this defensive energy. It's too good to be true. And I have a feeling that that's like in this defensive line here that she's trying to see what's going on over here. Ooh, Knight of Stabs, Knight of Swords right here in the middle. <laughs> the cups. Okay. Okay. So I get the kind of energy that somebody's in, that they're in hermit mode, right? They definitely want to make moves. They want to upgrade from the Knight of Stabs, or from the Page of Stabs to the Knight of Stabs, which shows a lot of movement in this deck, right? He's on a boat, right? And then we got the Knight of Swords, right? That's the watching card. I like how he's kind of being attacked by cats, though. It's like somebody's, he, he's not just the one doing the watching. Other people are watching him as well, right? So he's acting like a Page of Cups. They're trying to find some sort of balance in some situation. They're trying to find the most logical way of doing this so they can move on from the past. They've got a lot of responsibilities to shoulder, but they're prepared to shoulder those responsibilities, but they have to get past some sort of lie. Some sort of lie or secret, something they're being guided towards. Give me the space. What are they being guided towards? They're being guided towards a lot of healing. I mean, seriously, right? This is like the overindulgence card here. Going from overindulgence to nine of cups. This person's been left out in the cold by people. I have a feeling that like when they stopped indulging in toxic behaviors and they found their center, that's when everybody left them out in the cold. It's like, oh, well, if you're not going to, that's when you, you, you figure out who's really just using you. It's like, oh, well, if you're not going to do things my way, the way I want it, then, you know, they leave you out in the cold. It's like, oh, you found happiness on your own. You centered yourself, right? It caused a death to a lot of cycles, right? But at the same time, it's that reaping of what you sowed. You know what I'm saying? You made yourself dependent on these people. What caused all this change and emboldened this person? It was a, definitely a very strong soul connection triggered this person to really try to strengthen themselves, right? Look, it's like that Knight of Swords, but on the other side, like, they're in the strength card, they've got the cat by the other side, right? There's new beginnings getting ready to start here. Somebody wants to come and make an offer, right? Once they get past this home. They want to come into celebration. They want a union, like a, a celebration, a big group union between a high priestess and the Hierophant. That there's justice coming. There's a victory coming here. Something about passion wins out. Three of stabs. Things are already being worked for into this direction. Do I sound very flat and monotone to you guys tonight? Oh. I'm going to 
else we got going on tonight? Got anything you want to say? So when a child speaks, listen. When the student is ready, the master appears. When a true master knows when to disappear. I'm too involved now. You jump, I jump, remember? I can't turn away without knowing you'll be all right. That's that obsessive energy right there. I feel like this person who feels like a parasite actually taught this person a lot more lessons than they realized. And they can't look away now. Even the, <laughs> even the tree of life had to be planted in darkness. Just fear me, love me, do as I say, and I will be your slave. Well, I don't know. What are you willing to sacrifice not to feel like a parasite anymore? <laughs> really? You got all that to say? I have to edit this down. Oh, no, not I. <laughs> I'll be your huckleberry. Oh, this person's defiant. It's easy to be myself with you. Aw. See, I get this on the side. We got, you got, well... All right, so it's easy to be myself with you, and then immediately after, you're a type that loose lips, show a gun, but don't shoot shit. You act hard, but don't do shit. Fuck you and your crew, bitch. So this is someone who was like, there was like an involvement of a group of people, and they didn't want to deal with it anymore. You lean against me, and I'll lean against you, and that way neither one of us had to sleep with our heads in the mud. You don't get to miss what you said we never had. Yeah. Well, that's what it was, right? Like, there's the connection. It's like, oh, no, not I. I don't feel like being controlled by you. Like, something happened here. Like, it was easy to be myself with you, but then it immediately turned into, like, what? That felt fake? That felt fake. Like, you know, you did all this work leaning up against each other, but then in the end, it's like, you don't get to miss what you said we didn't have. If you can't look into my eyes and there's something we don't agree with, This is why this person feels like a parasite. That's the energy. They're like, I'm just another burden to you. Why? Because I'm going to expect you to level the fuck up and be what you portray yourself as. That discomfort you're feeling is a sign to level up. Lean the fuck in. sit there and just watch from a distance now. You got anything else to say? The universe is trying to fuck with me. I refuse to engage. <laughs> How many F-bombs do I get if, uh, to demonetize my video? Like it's... I gotta start monitoring so. all right i got sea turtles are a sign of wisdom and good luck and a person playing a role will eventually forget their lines pay attention the act cannot go on forever yeah somebody got busted out in an act look for sea turtles as a sign if this reading related to you related to you if you related to this reading however you want to say it all right i'm gonna get out of here y'all blessed be all those who walk these weird and winding paths with me and um yeah, I'll be back as soon as I can, I promise.